Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Children, we have covered all the topics for section A for semester two. Only encapsulation topic was left. So before starting section B, I wanted to make this video, and so here I am with part five of our board booster series for section A. Right, children? And this is for the topic encapsulation. From encapsulation chapter, you will get the questions only in section A, not in section B. So let's begin with our first question of today's video. Name the keyword that helps to access a class member without creating an object. That means we want to access a variable name or a member, and we have not created the object for that particular class. So which keyword is that? Private, public, protected, or static? Yes, children, what is your answer? Yes, you are right. Static keyword is the correct answer. So, children, if you remember, you write public static void main and we never create the object for uh, using the main function, right? So, static is the keyword which is used for accessing a class member without creating the object. We move on to question number two. Name the variables that are declared inside a method and have a scope limited to that method only. The variable which are declared within the method body. What are those variables? Static variables, local variables, global variables or protected variables? Children, the correct answer is local variables. So please do remember such type of questions. These are very, very important. Next, we move on to question number three. Which access specifier should be used with the class member so that this class member can be used in the subclasses? Children, what do you mean by subclasses? Yes, the classes which acquire the properties of another class is known as the subclass. And if you want that class member can be used in the subclasses, which access specifier you use? Public, private, protected or all of the above? Children, it is protected, right? Okay, option C is the correct answer. Before we proceed, I would like to share something which is very important for you for your semester 2 exams. Yes, children, An Academy presents its Emerge Mock Test series for the semester 2 for your final exams. And it is for the classes ICSC and IESC children. And it is free also, right? So please enroll now yourself and you can use my code LEAF that is LEAF to unlock it for free and get 10% off any subscription. Right children? So it is for ICSC as well as ISC classes. So children just for the practice, for your revision, for your practice, I want all of you to enroll yourself for this free mock test series and do your revision. And all of you already know that power pack revision series is also being conducted. Please do unlock it using my code leave. And my best wishes are with each one of you for the practice, for the preparation, for the revision and definitely for the exams. Right children? So don't forget to enroll yourself for this Emerge Mock Test series for semester 2 exams. We move on to question number 4. Dash variables are common to all instances of a class. Class variables, local variables, instance variables or private variables. Children, the correct answer is option A. Class variables are common to all instance. Class variables have only one copy, right? Whereas instance variables are different. They have a separate copy for each object and class variables have only one copy and that is shared by all the objects of the class. Right, children? We move on to question number five. Dash have only one copy of variables that are shared to all. Instance variables, local variables, class variables or private variables. Children, the same question what I told you just now. Class variables have only one copy that is shared by all. So option C is the correct answer. Right children? Question 6. 
methods and variables are enclosed within a unit what is the name of that unit method class block or none of the above children it is class class is a collection of methods and data members these data members are the variables right so option b is the correct answer we move on to question number 7 the wrapping up of data members and member methods together into a single unit is called polymorphism abstraction encapsulation or inheritance children it is encapsulation all of you have learned this definition even if you don't know many of you don't know what is the meaning but still you know the definition you have learned the definition of all these object oriented principles right so encapsulation is the correct answer we move on to next question that is question number 8 dash controls the accessibility of data members and member methods within the class or outside the class the options are access specifier variable name inheritance or none of the above what controls the accessibility of data members and member methods we write private public or protected where we write before the member method or before the data member name right so what is that public private protected these are the access specifiers so correct answer is option a that is access specifier right children now which of the following is a block a uh, sequence of statements within the parenthesis parenthesis these brackets are known as parenthesis the small brackets right the sequence of statements within curly brackets this or the sequence of statements within the square brackets what is a block children a sequence of statements written within the pair of curly braces is termed as block so option b is the correct answer now we move on to the last question of this part state the java concept that is implemented through a super class and a sub class children the options are encapsulation abstraction inheritance and polymorphism sub classes super classes derived classes all these are the terms which are used in inheritance so option c is the correct answer children here again i want to tell you that encapsulation and inheritance inheritance is not there but little bit what i have explained to you is sufficient and from this topic you will have the questions only in section a please do watch the videos of encapsulation because uh, the mcq based questions will be there and i will put the link of the encapsulation playlist in the description box please do check that and watch these videos very important right for today this much only so those who haven't subscribed the channel till now please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you you may join us on our telegram channel also the link is there in the description box keep practicing keep working hard keep solving the mcqs god bless you children